Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be restoring and customizing a little PlayArt Fiat X19. These were produced by PlayArt around 1980, I believe. It's a bit hard to find exact info on it. And Fiat produced the real car from 19... 72 until 1982. These were a very affordable mid-engine sports car. I think they were around three to four thousand pounds or ten, eleven thousand dollars US. Designed by Bertoni. Taking a look at our little example here off of the turntable. It's definitely pretty shabby. It's missing a lot of paint. Looks like somebody's tried to paint over the roof and the engine cover there. The missing paint on the bottom and typically scruffy old wheels for an old toy like this. So let's get it taken apart. The posts are outies, so I'll just start with a round burr on my rotary tool and then I can continue with my drill and drill them out. And then I can pop the bottom off and take it all apart. There's a little rear bumper. Broken plastic suspension plate there. I'll just use my little tool here to pop the roof off and that'll release the windscreen as well. I'll just pop these wheels out of the chassis here. And then use my tool again to pop out that broken suspension plate. And now the two cast parts are ready for paint stripping. With all the paint washed off the body, I can drill out these posts and then tap them so that I can use some little screws to put the car back together later on. And with that done, I can now move on and give both the castings a bit more of a clean up with the wire brush on my Dremel here. Get rid of any oxidation and remaining paint that's on them. And here they are looking a bit more shiny and clean. Now you'll notice the pillars aren't looking exactly the same. So I'm just going to bend this left one out a tiny bit. There we go, I think that's looking a little bit more even. Now I can move on and start painting the body of the car. I'm going to begin with a coat of white primer. Next I paint it yellow.
And finally, I give this a very light coat of candy orange. I think this just makes the yellow a lot richer and kind of two-tone a little bit. I start painting in some details here, the tail lights and some indicators. Some of the other black details on the side of the car, I'm going to use some little black decals. I think these all just look a little bit tidier than trying to paint it on by hand. And once all the detailing was done, it was finished with a couple of coats of gloss clear. For the chassis, I'll begin with some white primer on the front and the rear sections there. Then again with the yellow and the candy orange. Next I mask off the yellow areas and then I'll paint the bottom of the chassis in black. Let's take off my masking here and hope it hasn't leaked. Great, that's looking nice and tidy. And I'm just finish this with a gloss varnish. To replace this old broken suspension plate here, I'm just gonna cut out a piece of steel sheet, drill a hole in the middle of it, and I'm just gonna use some of my Starbond super glue to glue it in place there. couple of drops of accelerator here and it will set instantly. On to the plastic parts now. Keep them all safe in a little shot cup there. I'm not going to be using the wheels or axles so I can sort them out. All these other pieces are pretty grubby, they're going to need a wash. And this chromed grill here, somehow it's broken into two pieces. I'm going to have to be very careful not to lose those. And I'm going to use a little bit of caustic soda and some hot water to remove the chrome off of them. There they go. You can see how I do this in some of my other videos. Next I use a little bit of my Starbond super glue to glue the pieces back together. Then given a coat of black primer and I later painted it chrome. Here are the other plastic parts after a good wash. There's really not a lot of detail on the interior or anywhere on these. It's mostly all black so I painted all these three parts in a nice satin black and that just left me the windscreen. As you can see there's a bit of paint on it here and there where somebody's tried to paint the car a different colour. So I'm going to have to get rid of this. To do this I just gently, gently scraped it off with my craft knife using a nice sharp blade here. And just gently scraping until the paint had gone. I'm making sure I don't put any scratches in the windscreen, or at least not any deep ones.
And here it is, about five or ten minutes later, worth of scratching. Looking a lot cleaner. Now I'll just give it a good polish with some auto sole. And then I can finish it off with a dip in the self-shining floor polish. I'll just leave that to dry. And finally, here are those shabby looking old wheels. Definitely not going to be reusing those. Decided to replace them with these nice spoked wheels with some Dunlops on them. And so here we are, all of the parts of our little play art Fiat 1.9 refurbished, repainted and ready to go back together. I'll start by putting the wheels onto the axles. They're pretty easy, they just press in. I can then put the wheels into the chassis. Next, I'm going to put the roof on there. To be honest, it's not a perfect fit. Next I use a skewer to apply a tiny amount of glue underneath the roof there. And then I can put the windscreen in place. Next it's in with the interior. The front bumper. And the rear bumper. The chassis goes back in place. And a couple of wee button head screws will hold the whole thing together. So there's our little Fiat all tidied up, reassembled and ready to go. But just before we take a look at the finished item, let's take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. A proper diecast disaster of a little Fiat X19. Chipped scruffy paint, worn out wheels. This little 70s Italian sports car looks like way too much fun to be in this state, so let's see what we can do. And here it is, our restored and customised play art Fiat X19, repainted in a nice deep orangey yellow. It's been detailed all over. It's got that nice new set of wheels and I've even given it a custom X19 license plate there. So there we have it, our cool little budget racer from the 70s. I think it looks really nice with that deep yellow paint job. Really looks good with the black detailing. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you used to have this toy as a kid or any other play art toys, this is the first one I've ever done. Or maybe you used to own one of these little Fiat's. I'm sure a few people must have as they look a lot of fun and they were pretty affordable. Thanks to everyone for the awesome comments and likes on my videos. Extra special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to join them and help out the channel, you can check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description below along with a link where you can get 10% off 
stab on super glue and accelerators. Thanks heaps for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you'd like to see more like it, remember to subscribe and click the bell so that you get notifications and updates. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.